Hello, and welcome to the second video in the Introduction to ShareGate Migrate series. In this video, we'll see how to establish a connection to your SharePoint environment, as well as a general overview of the UI. Picking up where we left off in the first video, you just activated the ShareGate Migrate tool and are now prompted with this screen. Here, you can establish the connection to any supported SharePoint environment to be accessed in the Explore section, which we will see in just a moment. You want to start by entering the site collection URL or, preferably, the admin center or central admin URL for either SharePoint Online or SharePoint On-Prem, respectively. Once this is done, you need to choose the appropriate authentication method for the environment itself. If we're connecting to SharePoint Online, we'll likely want to start with the browser authentication, as this is the only method to support modern authentication and secondary authentication processes such as MFA. If you can toggle the proxy button to enter the proxy connection details if this is relevant for you and you are using a proxy. The SSO process can be used, but note that for some tenants, it can interfere with the graph API processes when you're doing your migrations. Keep this in mind for later if you encounter issues connecting or interacting with M365 groups or teams. Current Windows user is rather self-explanatory and will use the current Windows login. Other user will allow you to input a username and password directly. Remember that both of these, current Windows user and other user, are legacy authentication and will not support secondary authentication methods such as MFA. For this example, we'll be using the browser authentication. Browser authentication uses the standard Microsoft login process, so this should already be familiar. Congratulations, you now have access to the migration tool. Now let's do a quick tour of the UI. First, we have Explore. This is where you can navigate your connected SharePoint environments. There are many actions you can take from the right-hand side menu, each contextual to what is selected. Then we have the plan section, where you can launch the source analysis report, as well as a series of other pre-made reports. Then we have the copy section. Here's where you can start all of the copy operations, each different type of task is grouped by the tabs up top by context. Underneath, we have the Reports tab, where you can run a selection of pre-made reports, as well as create your own custom report. The Security section is a grouping of security and permissions-focused reports all taken from the Reports tab directly. The Tasks section is where you'll eventually see all of your migration reports as well as the activity log for all actions taken within the tool, including reporting as well as actions from the Explore section. The Scheduled tab will show you all scheduled migrations and reports, allowing you to modify the frequency or the settings of these operations. The governance section, as well as, the protect button, as well as the protect button at the bottom, take you to ShareGit Protect, which is our SaaS groups and teams management product that will not be covered in this video.